Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a, a quick video talking about the the difficulty of getting a pinch harmonic on the low E string. Um, I just watched a video by, I think it was uh, Music Is Win or, uh, I don't know, he, he's a really big YouTuber. Um, but anyways, he was talking about that, uh, that Zach Wilde squeal or the... Uh, that big squeal people get on the low E string. And uh, he was trying to do it the traditional way where he uses a pinch harmonic trying to find that perfect spot, you know, with the right hand and, you know, bouncing it on your flesh of the thumb just right. And um, that's, that's not how I was taught. Um, I don't know if this is the correct way or the wrong way. I, it was just something I was shown, you know, uh, many years ago. Um, I'm, I'm 37 now at the recording of this video. I was 16 or 17, and that was back in like 2004, 2005-ish. And uh, the guy who showed me was either in his 40s or uh, close to it, some, somewhere around there, um, and I thought it was a neat technique, and I didn't know where really to throw it in my own musical ideas, so I just kind of threw the idea to the side and never thought about it again, but after watching this YouTube video about how difficult it is to find those, those, uh, what's called nodal points on the, on the string, uh, especially on the low E, because any other, you know, any other uh, string is a lot easier. That it's a lot easier on any other string, but the the low E is where it really becomes a pain. And then trying to hit that in the moment is almost like hitting the lottery. And I see a lot of these guys struggling and doing these things and trying to hit those. It's, it's not easy. And um, the way I was taught was uh, to use it like a natural harmonic. You know, you're... So doing, doing natural harmonics, if, um, for those of you who aren't aware, I, I know there's a lot of people that are going to be like, eh, I know what that is. But uh, just for the sake of the video and the broad spectrum of people, um, natural harmonics is when you lightly fret... I mean, you're you're not even pushing the string down. You're just resting your finger on those specific spots called nodal points, and uh, the notes get higher as you go lower down the neck. You're just resting. But when it comes to the third fret, the third fret is a very special spot. Um, there's there's so many of those points very close together just within the third fret. So as you're like you just lightly rest your finger on the string within the third fret and you pluck it. But with those um, those low E string you know squeals, what I've noticed is that. It's so much easier to just rest your finger on the string like a natural harmonic. And the second that sound comes out, that the second that comes out, you then fret the note and then bend in vibrato. It it's more consistent than trying to find it with your right hand. And already have the note fretted and that's 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 like winning the lottery you're 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 taking a gamble so i just wanted to put my two cents in and this is what i was shown when i was younger um maybe it's forgotten information maybe i'm on a completely different topic who knows but um yeah just rest your finger lightly on the low e string and 
find all them natural harmonics in there, and then the one you're looking for, if if that's the one you're looking for, the second it sounds, then fret the note, and then bend and vibrato as you need it. And with higher distortion and higher volume, yeah, it's going to be a lot better. I'm, I'm in the living room of my apartment. Um, and this is what, you know, I was showing a long time ago. And, um, hopefully that's something that helps. Uh, maybe some of you guys didn't think of doing that, like hitting a natural harmonic and then fretting and bending. But, um, yeah, the way that YouTube channel showed it, uh, he was really showing um, something that I thought was extremely difficult is trying to nail that pinch harmonic with the right hand. I feel like I can get that same I can get that same thing more consistently by doing it like a natural harmonic and lightly touching the string second it starts to then fret the note and sh you know vibrato and shake it I don't know I I hope this helps somebody um, maybe I'm crazy or maybe it's just forgotten knowledge but um, yeah so hopefully this is in um, this is in the same realm of what he was talking about um, I guess you would need to see that video first for context, but um, I believe it was Music Is Win, and I don't mean to like knock him or say anything bad about him. It was just I'm just saying my point of view, something that I was I was showing a long time ago, and uh, practice around with both techniques, find the one that works for you. But um, yeah, it's just something that I saw, so. Uh, thank you for watching and hopefully uh, you can get some new techniques out of that and finding different uh, natural harmonics that you can hit with the left hand lightly and then once it sounds then fret it and dig in you know hit that natural and then fret and then dig so try try both variants out and uh, I don't know, I, I just wanted to get that out there because after I saw that YouTube video, I wanted to add my piece. So, um, not that I'm arguing, not that I'm saying he's wrong because that, that might be the actual technique that he's using, but uh, the technique that I was shown, um, it was given to me as the proper way to do it. I, I honestly don't know. But I do find it a lot easier to do it that way and a lot more consistent so um thanks again and uh, i know it's been a while since i've uploaded something but um yep peace out